All right, guys, I just want to go over this LOV trade. Uh, that I did time this pretty well and could have been a pretty hot trade. Unfortunately, I got stopped out of this uh, stock. You know, pretty low float, 14.5 million. So that's kind of in that range that I look for. You know, you look at a stock like Love that's just been really not trading at all. Uh, you know, sometimes this volume is 16,000 shares, you know, 1,000 shares. Uh, 1.9 thousand shares on the daily chart so really not a whole lot of volume so just to see this thing cruise up here on the daily chart uh, really just not a very reliable stock and you could definitely imagine that this thing could have a pullback pullback especially when you look at the previous day before was a huge pullback as well so when we saw this huge f1 breakout which also could have been a long you know this is textbook f1 breakout here at 121, where this thing blew up from 121 all the way up to 145 in just a matter of minutes. Uh, the volume here wasn't too big, though. Uh, you know, you're looking at the opening bell. There's 26,000, then this sold off huge on just 1,000 shares, and then kind of formed back up here. But low volume overall, so this wasn't really something that I would look at, you know, too big as far as an F1 to be too super confident in going long. With these, I'm more so a lot more confident going short. Uh, and this thing basically went parabolic all the way up to that previous high of 150. You know, the midpoint of a whole number is also an area where you're going to find a lot of resistance. And there's something I call the one last spike. And it's typically just one last spike to screw shorts out. You know, when you're trying to time a short, you're a lot of times, you know, having a lot of trial and error trying to pick that exact top. And I was hoping that I got in right when I needed to. Okay, so we had this first parabolic move all the way up to 145 and then we broke this 145 uh, again and then that failure of that high a day at 144 I was hoping that was the one last spike so I was like all right boom there's the high a day breakout again and then I got in here at 142 6,000 shares thinking okay that was that one last spike stopping these shorts out that were over that initially got in right here one last squeeze of the upside and now we're going to pull back also off that 150 mark uh, from there you know typically Especially on an F1, your rule of thumb for the short-term trend is at 13 EMA or the VWAP, and you want to see those break down. And that's what I was hoping for, and we got real close, and then all of a sudden we spiked right here. And you you don't know how uh, high these things can go, and so I didn't want to see this go all of a sudden from my entry here at 142, spike highs a day, and potentially continue this trend as this, uh, you know, could have easily gone it too. There's nothing to say that this didn't have the ability to do that. So I stopped out and then just instantly right afterwards, just we got this massive sell on uh, LOVE. So technically the one last spike came later. Uh, and that's what I call I call it the one last spike because there's always this one last spike that happens that stops you out of your short when you try to pick, pick the top on these parabolic moves. Uh, and fortunately I thought, this was the one last spike, but we just had one more before all of a sudden this, this complete reverse. Then we finally got the 13 EMA and the VWAP breakdown. And from there, we finally started to get the trend reversal. And now we're back down towards lows a day here almost uh, at about 123. So I stopped out of here at 142, uh, which was my entry price. So I basically broke even. Um, you know, timing was... was pretty good here for my entry there was just that one last spike that uh tends to get you on the short side unfortunately i came out uh break even you know at least it wasn't for a loss and uh would have been nice to hold for a gain but in this situation i got screwed by that one last spike and that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes and today it did <laughs>